So the, I'm like, the product is finally here. What do I do now? Roadblocks, roadblocks. There's always gonna be roadblocks, but what you gotta do is put on your running shoes and, and hurdle them bitches. Jump over, jump over and keep going. If you, if you have to run through it, if you gotta knock it down, knock it down. My product got to Amazon and after I think a day of it being on the platform, they sent me a message saying that I couldn't sell my product on their platform because it was a restricted product. Um, and essentially what I was selling was uh, these, the paper lanterns um, that you like burn and they flow in the air. I know it sounds like a weird product to the average person. You wouldn't think that that thing makes money, but it's a product for a reason. It's around and people do it for a reason. Um, th that's kind of where the market research comes in and uh, I chose that because the numbers were really good and it was it aligned with what I was comfortable with in terms of my upfront costs and the potential of what it can make so um, luckily when I ordered my product I ordered two different ones when you're on Amazon's platform you have to depending on the variation of it you have to use a different label for each one. So one of them uh, was a packet of all white lanterns and the other one was a packet of multicolor ones. Um, and they flagged the all white lanterns, but they didn't flag the second one. So of course I'm, I'm pissed. I'm like, I put in all of this work, I've been on the phone with Amazon at least 10, 15 times asking them how to get the product to them. Like you all know, I've had this listed because you can still list your product and then not be um, active on their website. So I'm like, you had to approve this. How do you wait until I get the product to your warehouse and then tell me, oh no, you need to come and remove this because you can't sell it. <sighs> Again, I had to chuck it up as a learning lesson, but another blessing. I had to be grateful that my second product wasn't flagged. So what I did was I kept moving forward with my second product. Um, I initiated the marketing, I launched it, I did the PPC, the PPC which is pay-per-click. I did it correctly. And the first day or two, I wasn't making any money, but that's, how, that's kind of how it works. That's how, how the marketing uh, works. I wasn't making any sales, but I was paying for marketing. And I'm like, what the heck, how am I, losing money and, <laughs> and losing my other product. Um, but if you learn it correctly, you'll be comfortable with that happening. Um, but after those first couple of days, um, I did another round of PPC. There's two different kinds. One is the automatic, and that's where you get all of your keywords and how they are performing within the Amazon platform. Like how many people are clicking on them, how many people are seeing your products, what's converting to sales, what's not converting to sales. So I took that information and I did a manual campaign. And with manual campaigns, you get to choose what exact words you want to pay for in order to convert to sales. After I did that, I literally started making sales daily and I was, I was shocked. Um, the first day, I think I made about uh, five sales. The second day, I made 11. And then I hit 20, I hit 22. And it, I would have run out in, this first, um, in the first week of all of my product. That's how, that's what can happen on Amazon. Like, if it wasn't flagged, and the reason that it was flagged is because um, it's actually illegal in certain states, and I think there was like a wild fire that happened a couple years back where it became illegal, which I didn't know, and that's also because I don't know if I didn't do enough research or if Amazon just updated that because there were several, like, at least 15, 20 other people selling the same exact product. And um, that another thing is you never know how they're gonna flag it. Some people won't get flagged, like my second product did it and it's been selling, um, but so you never know. Uh, but also count, count the blessings. So now that I've made these sales and I've seen how quickly um, I am able to move this product I'm now moving on to my second product that's where I am literally today I just reached out to um, a my another supplier for a brand new product I'm gonna do more in-depth research make sure it is not illegal um, and we're moving on to our second product 
like that it, it took me the fifteen the fifty five hundred dollars in five months in order for me to learn this process but I will tell you this I learned that was the cheapest education I've gotten maybe not cheapest I've get, gotten some advice that was free that I learned a lesson on but um, in terms of what, how I think of education that was a cheap lesson that was a cheap business lesson in my eyes because now um, even with unemployment um, I'm collecting unemployment I'm stacking this and w once I um, get to once I get to a specific point like I'm gonna start running uh, my next product and I uh, hopefully not hopefully no this one is going to come back and my, my video for that one will be successful and I hope to want to be able to tell you how successful it is and continue to encourage other people to maybe move into this and if not just to encourage you to do something that you've always wanted to do take the risk invest in yourself stop spending your money on everything else everything is an investment but everything's not going to get you a return this got me in a very important return and i know with the information that i know now and even the way that i've even shifted my mindset i know i said i didn't want to go back to corporate America but I'm gonna do what I have to do in order to get this business off the ground so when um, this is over um, depending on how well this product goes in my third one I may have to pick up a part-time job and if I do I'm gonna pick up that part-time job so I can support this business so that by the end of this year I can walk away and say I have a full business and I can support myself and I don't have to check into anybody except for me but that is all I have. Thank you for watching for this long. Um, I'm trying to keep the next ones shorter, but uh, stay safe. Peace. Love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Over and out.